Hi guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today we are going to be doing a luxury closet declutter. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, sometimes Mondays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here on this channel. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's do this. I um, live in London. This is a rented flat. Definitely not what it, we are going to be living in forever. And the closet space is um, limited. But apparently because you're in a relationship, you're meant to share and compromise. So half of this wardrobe is knees and the other half is mine. And how do I store all my stuff? Mainly in like storage boxes and under bed storage and uh, Anywhere there is space in this house is filled with something of mine. Clothes and shoes, mainly. There is like a clothing rack in the living room that is just my like outerwear. So, um, you know what? You gotta work with the space you're given. So today I'm gonna go through with you some of my storage boxes. I might have some cute stories to tell you and just work through what I'm still in love with, what I'm still gonna keep and what, you know, should probably be donated. We're gonna start off with this drawer, which is basically like, I don't know, stuff that I couldn't like categorize properly. So it ended up in this drawer. Okay. Uh, I have this, oh, I do still like this top. This is like a, like a McHugh, McQueen sort of knit top. I like the fact that it has skinny arms, you know? So it gives like some sort of proportion. Something exciting is happening there. So that is definitely a keep section. Oh, I love this. You've seen this in a number of my videos. This kind of cropped, slouchy and other stories sweater. Okay, so this is one of those things that I bought because, um, just being very honest with you, uh, Rihanna wore it and you know me and how I feel about Rihanna. So I bought it. This is by the brand uh, um, Atelier New Regime. This is in a size medium and it's just a very sort of um, average long sleeve top except for the fact that on the neck it says F you pay me. So you know what, it's not really appropriate for the majority of um, times that I'm out of the house. So I don't know, I think that one probably needs a think. Okay, a pair of Burberry shorts that I like apart from the fact that they are too big and um, not to blow my own horn and say that I kind of lost weight around the time that I got these, um, but I did and now they are pretty huge. They also look like, um, I don't know, a pair of like my dad's swim trunks. Um, I do really like them apart from the fact that they just do not fit. Can you tailor these? Can I take these to a tailor? They've got like cute little, okay. Oh, they do have pockets at the back. They have cute little pockets. Not that, you know, I do anything with those pockets, but it's good to know that they're there in case I do need them. Mm, so this is like, I don't know, this is going to go in the possible alterations pile. Okay, so these are a pair of, um, damn it, do you wanna know what? These absolutely killed it. These are a pair of, um, Vivian Westwood trousers. Oh my gosh. Vivian Westwood used to be my mother effing jam. I was an official Vivian Westwood brand ambassador. I truly was. And these trousers, wow, they were really quite something. Just like they were kind of a little bit tapered towards the end, but they have these great kind of hot pink. I don't know what that is, but I love it. I remember that I um, struggled to get in them um, a little bit after the time that I used to wear them, wear them regularly. So these are one of those that like, I'm still hunting to get into because wow, can't this to this day is still such a flex. And this is why I love luxury items because look, I got these when I was like 17 or 18 literally 10 years ago and like if I can still fit in them wow that's amazing money well spent you know this t-shirt I put like some knitted cashmere kind of things in these bags so that I don't know moths don't eat them why do those things have the most expensive taste like how truly dare you like you couldn't have gone for like the polyester no you wanted to go for the cashmere bane of my life Anyway, this amazing sweater. I think this is actually my mum's that she gave to me. It's by the brand Evil, E. Ville. I, I don't think that they exist anymore, but my gosh, this used to be a, a brand that I absolutely used to love. I mean, just look at that. That is so fabulous. The amount of Swarovskis. <gasps> Dying. I used to love anything that's, I still love anything that sparkles. So love that. I mean, 
the trousers I'm wearing today. You know, nothing has changed. Let's take a minute to talk about cashmere joggers slash track pants. So these are by DKNY and um, are completely cashmere and glorious and soft to touch and make you feel mm, like you're just like wrapped in a blanket, sipping a little mug of hot cocoa in your log cabin in Montana. Anyway, um, but my issue is, is my gosh, the amount of maintenance, the amount of like, you've got to go over with your little fuzz remover, what is that, like a depiller machine, oh my gosh, it makes you not even want to wear them that often because you know some of us, some of us have thighs that touch and that adds to more of those little bubbles. So recently I did this one but ugh, sometimes you're like, is it worth the effort? Okay, we need to talk about this. So this is actually like an entire set. Again, it was by DKNY and it was a runway piece. And it basically is this little pair of knitted shorts with this huge ass, this bitch takes up so, so much room. It's honestly, if it wasn't like a, a show piece, then. Anyway, so this huge, heavy knitted jumper that basically has a deep V where you would put like a bralette, like I have a burnt orange DKNY bralette that matches this whole look to wear with it. And fair enough, it's very slouchy and you know what, again, I'm probably going to, mm, actually, do you wanna know what, this in the quarantine? Hello, coziness. And it was just like such a look. I will find a picture of it. Here we go. Here we go, we have one of the problems. Look at that, my bracelet is attached, it's pulling and it's one of those sodding materials where you can't get the pull back in and now she just looks like a messy bitch so that is very annoying and she's heavy but i love you kind of maybe <clears throat> does anyone else have any like items of clothing that are just like it's a nuisance oh my gosh it's like a family member that like ugh, it's like the nuisance of the family but you love it because it's your family it but you love him or her because they're part of your family but their hard work. That's how I feel about that. That is that drawer done. Now I want to tackle one of my underbed storage bag boxes and um, that brings me huge amounts of anxiety but we're in this together. Help me through it please. That honestly, that can die, truly. Okay, let's um, ask them that to be very honest with you. Um, okay, wow. If I was Vivian Westwood in school, when it was a night out, my gosh, was I a Vélagé, you know, in like uni. Oh my gosh, and I used to get these from the Outnet because they would always go onto the Outnet, and I'm sorry, but if you can get a discount on luxury, then why not? Um, and my gosh, did I used to think that I was um, the SHIT, truly. So we have this one, which has like little cap sleeves and then like a little flared skirt kind of thing. I'm probably gonna keep these because I feel like, although bandage dresses, I would say, are very much kind of out of style, I feel like A, I could make them work slash style them to make them work, and B, I'm not ready to let go of them yet. So there we go, that's my justification to myself. Oh look, we have another one in another kind of, oh, what a beautiful colour this is, sort of like a, like a pastel teal. Mm. I mean, look at that, just like zip up the front. Wow. You know what, they snatch you in. I'll give them that. They really do snatch you in. You don't need spanks with those. Mm, you do, but anyway. These are a pair of like satin Sandro trousers. They look like track pants, but they have like pink, um, like velvet down the side, like two strips. To be honest, um, I think these are going to come handy in the quarantine for a little bit of a, a little bit of a, of a quarantine look. Keeping those. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nee hates this dress and I don't know why because it is a true stunner. Brown's fashion is like, I mean you can buy from them online, they're like a luxury online retail store, but they are like born and bred in London and I think it was like a family business kind of thing and they only have the one shop. Anyway, and years ago next door they had like an outlet for themselves and this dress was in there and I remember it was full price, it was a thousand pounds, but in there it was a hundred. And I was like, I was maybe like 19 at the time. And it was a collaboration between Browns and Ashish, which is a brand, I think again, it's a London brand, but they just like do the most incredible sequin work. 
and my gosh it is this like it looks like an nfl t jersey that's the word um and it's just like all sequins and it says 40 and browns on the back and oh my gosh this is just i i wore this recently actually this is just one of those dresses that like oh throughout the years i'm just gonna keep bringing her back just be like mm, do you remember me hello i mean i've got a lot of these kind of like winter skirts so this one is what is this one a kenzo this is a kenzo special and it is just a really thick winter skirt in this kind of like a brownie kind of thing and it's kind of like a skater skirt vibe this is the thing because i haven't worn it in years but i can see me turning to it at some point to be like oh yes cute warm cozy winter skirt so it's like do i keep it do i give it oh, maybe I'll, I'll keep it okay another kenzo one again another winter skirt situation this one i don't like as much oh my gosh and i used to buy things like this and i know exactly why i bought this and i again was about 20 or something and i used to bang kenzo jesus i mum and i even went to the kenzo fashion show in paris one year which was very exciting never got invited back um <laughs> but it was incredible anyway um like why have i bought this kenzo tank top i don't wear tank tops why have I bought that? And I know exactly why I bought it. I bought it because I was in uni. I wanted something a little bit designer and I was like, oh, 50 pounds for a tank top. Oh, let me just treat myself to something that I was never going to wear. I, I tell you what, I've worn this like a couple of times and I think one of which was at the gym. Why, why, no. Okay, so Sass and Bide, I believe is an Australian brand and they did these two pieces. And again, these really, these were like tried and true by me. This is like a catsuit version. And again, I don't know if I would ever pull these out these days, but oh my gosh, the the nostalgia. Right, it is basically, I can't even describe this to you. This is a catsuit and you would basically like scrunch it up. Oh my gosh, I really thought I was it when I wore this. <gasps> I was just like, <laughs> you are not ready. No one was ready, to be honest. I don't even think I was ready. You know what? It looked great at the time. It looked great at the time. Let me know if you enjoy these videos um, so then I can, it would force me to do the rest of my stuff. Guys, I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.